the execution chamber at the Southern Ohio Correctional Facility in Lucasville, where the execution of an inmate was delayed on Wednesday because workers could not find a vein to insert an IV. Caroline Grusson Agents France Epress, Getty Images Gov. John R. Kasich of Ohio delayed the execution of a convicted murderer for 19 months on Wednesday after an attempt to end his life failed because executioners were unable to find a vein they could use for lethal injection. The failed execution of Alva Campbell, a 69-year-old inmate with health problems, was the third time in seven decades that a death row inmate in the United States has survived the initial attempt to take his life and the second time in recent years that it has happened in Ohio, according to the Associated Press, attempts by the medical team this morning to gain intravenous access were unsuccessful, Joellen Smith, a spokeswoman for the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Correction, said in an email. A warrant of reprieve issued by Mr. Kasich on Wednesday afternoon said the state would try to execute Mr. Campbell again on June 5, 2019. M.S. Smith did not respond to an email asking how the new date had been chosen. Alva Campbell is now scheduled to be executed on June 5, 2019. Ohio Department of Rehabilitation Earlier in the day, Gary Moore, head of the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Correction, told reporters that the state would take its time planning for the next execution attempt. We're not going to rush to execute, he said, according to the Toledo Blade. We're just taking our time and I think that's fine. An inability to find a usable vein also led to an unsuccessful attempted execution of Rommel Broom in 2009. He has remained on death row in Ohio since his execution was called off two hours after it was scheduled to begin. He was convicted of raping and murdering 14-year-old Trina Middleton in 1984. The first modern case of a botched execution attempt happened in Louisiana in 1946 when a malfunctioning electric chair failed to take the life of Willie Francis, 17, a convicted murderer, according to the AP. The United States Supreme Court allowed the state to make a second attempt, and Mr. Francis was executed by electric chair in 1947. A reporter for the Associated Press, who was at the Southern Ohio Correctional Facility in Lucasville as a news media witness to the execution that had been planned for Wednesday morning, said the process was called off roughly 80 minutes after it had been scheduled to begin. Andrew Welsh Huggins Associated Press members of the execution team, as it is known, spent about 30 minutes trying to find a usable vein in Mr. Campbell's arms and then tried to find a vein below his right knee. The executioners tried to comfort Mr. Campbell as they searched for a way to execute him, the AP said, by patting him on the arm and shoulder. They also brought a wedge pillow for him to use on the gurney because he has breathing problems related to a long-standing smoking habit. The AP said Mr. Campbell shook hands with two guards about 80 minutes into the execution process when it appeared they had success he found a vein. But two minutes later reporters were abruptly ushered out of the viewing area without being told why they had to leave. Last week, Governor Kasich rejected an appeal for clemency from Mr. Campbell, who was convicted in 1997 of the murder of Charles Diles, a teenager he killed during a carjacking. He used a gun stolen from a Franklin County Sheriff's deputy, whom he had overpowered. The Ohio Parole Board said in October that it did not support Mr. Campbell's request for clemency. Mr. Broom, whose execution was halted in 2009, has spent the last eight years arguing that the state should not be allowed a second chance to execute him. In March 2016, the Ohio Supreme Court ruled in a 4-3 decision that it would not be unconstitutional for the state to make a second execution attempt. The United States Supreme Court rejected his appeal last December. A version of this article appears in print on November 16, 2017, on page A17 of the New York edition with the headline Execution of Inmate is Stopped.